Hi everyone. Hi there. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching our today's conversation. And we want to encourage you to watch this video to the end because um, at the end of this video, you're going to be blessed. Oh, yes, really blessed. Yeah. Mm, mighty our, blessed. Amen. In our conversation today, we're going to talk about tips that support successful relationship. So, um, can I give a small testimony? Go ahead. Okay, so we are in love, right? Oh, yes. And we have been married for over 10 years. 10 years. But today seems like we are just starting a new relationship. Oh, yes. So that is what is important in marriage. Mm -hmm. So see yourself as happy couples. See yourself as sweet couple see yourself as you have entered a relationship which you have to keep it going you you have a responsibility to keep that relationship going and that makes a successful marriage so we're going to give some tips that we believe that is going to help you in your own relationship so um to start with to start with um i just want us to understand that marriage is a unique gift from God and Amen. everyone's marriage is unique before God. Amen. So we're gonna read Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Right. Bible says a man will leave his father and mother and is united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen to that. So a marital relationship. In Christian marital relationship or in so many relationships that we understand between a man and a woman either the wife came from a different family and the husband right. came from a different family. family and the two comes together as one mm -hmm. so that is what we have to put in our heads that the two do not come from the same family. Mm -hmm. And so there are going to be some imperfection. Yes. There are going to be some flaws along the way. Oh, yes. But if we understand some tips and also understand the foundation of marriage, it's going to help us to promote and support this relationship. Because this responsibility is between you and me. You and me. It's between husband and wife. And wife. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Nobody supposed to have the upper hand in their marital relationship than the other. Oh yeah. It takes the two to make every single decision. You are talking. Good. So do you want to read from Genesis chapter one, twenty seven and twenty eight? yeah so god created mankind in his image in the image of god he created them male and female right god blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in numbers right fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish in the sea and the bird in the sky and over the living creatures that move on, on the, the ground. ground so that is so important remember god is giving a command oh my jesus if god is behind your marriage then just imagine what else is going to crumble that marriage mm -hmm. so i wanted to underscore verse 28 it says god blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth and subdue it rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky mm. and over every living creature mm. Take that over. moves on the ground oh yes yeah. so when you get married you have power oh yes yeah. And that power is because two is better than one. Yes. God will give you dominion. 
Oh yes. Over the scorpions. Oh yes. Over snakes. Oh yes. Over evil. Oh yes. Over everything that is against that relationship. Yes. You guys have the power to overcome the obstacles of your marriage because God bags your marriage. Yes. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, He has given us the authority to trample upon scorpion and snake and right. nothing shall by any means hurt us. Because in every marriage, we're going to come across scorpions and snakes and evil and mm -hmm. the arguments, quarreling, mm -hmm. and the things that they just want to divide that relationship. Yeah. So that if we understand the tools that God has given us to support and to protect our marriage, it is fundamental. Very, very. It is fundamental very, and it's going very. to help us oh, yes. to move along with our life. Oh, yes. Marriage is sweet. Is the most significant relationship on earth, yes. and nobody should take marriage for granted. Oh, yes. We know we're not going to talk on how, um, what you must do in order to 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 um, start thinking of getting married. We're not going to talk about now about that now, but we're going to give you some tips that we believe that is important to apply it in your marital relationship in order to make it successful. So I'll talk about another one, which is communication. Oh, yes. So communication is one big thing in every relationship. Communication. I'm not only talking about phone. I'm talking about internet. What is your communication? Mm -hmm. As husband and wife, we should have some boundaries in our communication. Be careful how you communicate with the opposite sex. If you are married, be careful how you, you communicate with other people out there. Your communication should be open to your spouse, husband, likewise, the wife. The wife. Communication should be something that is um is not secrecy. There is no secrecy in marriage. There is no secrecy in marriage. Right. So communication is one thing that destroys marriages. People have their phone. And they're trying to hide information from from their wife or their husband because they have a wrong communication so wrong communication corrupts this good relationship that god has blessed you with yes be careful with how you you communicate and bible says evil communication corrupt good manners yeah so have a good communication with your husband and remember be careful the way you communicate with friends about your own marital relationship because a bad communication can influence your good decision and and bad decisions has consequences so uh, another thing that we think that is so important to talk of is prayer yeah prayer is the most fundamental key in a marital success right yes we cannot do without prayer. God, you have to keep God the center of your relationship. Awesome. Because in marriage, in every relationship, honey, like us, we have our ups and we have our down. We have our high and our low moment. Right. Yes. But the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, I read, Do not be anxious about anything. But in, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Mm -hmm. So as a true child of God, a woman who wants God to be the author and finisher of their marriage, you must put God first. Go down on your knees and pray. Because there will be season where there will be challenges. There will be season where there will be so many things going around. But when you put God first, he will make you a priority. Right. So prayer is something that is is huge when it comes to marriage. Yes. So there are so many things to pray about. Mm -hmm. If your husband goes to work, pray. Yes. And one good practice is that you guys should pray together when you guys get up from bed or before going to bed. Yes, like what we do. Pray always. Pray together. Yes. And put prayer as one huge tool in your relationship yes so when you when you come through across an issue don't only rush to your friend 
Don't only rush to your parents or to whosoever, but pray about it. Because God is the one who blessed that relationship. God bless your marriage. And God knows that prayer is the answer to the problem that you're looking for. So yes. prayer is so important. Yes. And when you pray, even if the problem is still on, God will give you peace of mind. If you see in verse uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, he say, And the peace of God will transcend all understanding, will guide your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Honey. Amen. So even in the in the midst of storm, God still gives peace because Amen. you pray to him. Amen. Amen. So prayer brings peace of mind. Oh yeah. Prayer bring strengthen the relationship. Oh yeah. Prayer brings unity. Oh yes. So if you're going through stress, you're going through anxiety, you are anxious about something, when you pray, you see that the whole the whole paradigm is changed yes that is a work of prayer that's a powerful work of prayer any marital relationship that that the couple do not put prayer in between it can crumble at any time yeah prayer is a solution to your mistakes yes so prayer is so fundamental in yes. your marital relationship and and in prayer it makes you become perfect because God cleans you from all unrighteousness because no one is perfect. Our righteousness is like a filthy rag. That when you pray together, He He transforms, He cleans, and makes you perfect. So prayer brings perfection. Yes. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to talk about um, setting priorities. So setting priorities is another tip that. You should know and apply it in your marital relationship how do you set your priorities mm -hmm. what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you wanted to to make a decision mm -hmm. for us we think that God is the first thing that should come in your mind that is this is this right before God and next your husband or your wife mm -hmm. so your priority should be first God and then next, your husband or your wife. Yes. Set priorities. So, do not put your friends first and put your husband or your wife second. Do not put your parents first and put your wife or your husband second. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work that way. The person that you need to talk issue with first should be God. And then next should be your husband. Yes. Meet your husband. Yes. Just, honey, how do we do this thing? Yeah. Be open to your husband, okay? Oh, yes. Say, how do we solve this thing? I have this issue. It's so strong in me. And I'm so troubled about it. Mm -hmm. Can we find a solution? Yeah. So, the reason why so many marriages are crumbled today is because people rush to their friends. Rush to their families. The solution to your friends yes. cannot be the same way to the solution from your husband or both of you yes it's going to be different yes um, and bible says what god has joined together no man can put us under right you can rush to your friend for a simple misunderstanding between you and your husband and your friend can give you the wrong decision that if that person is like that i don't think you're going to live with that person and like my wife said what god has put together let no man put asunder. So, um, be careful with the things that can, can um, cause to you your marriage. So, do not rush to people out there without talking to your husband first. If your husband doesn't listen, it's okay. You can go to your parents and then um, present the issue to your parents. If your husband or your wife do not listen, you can go to your friends and present that issue to your friends. I mean, good friends are supposed to give you good education about your marriage or before you make your decision. Or you can meet your counselor, your therapist, marital counselor or therapist, or your pastor to give you good counsel. Awesome. Good. So that is um, so important in every relationship. 
So you live with your wife and you're supposed to treat one another with love and respect. And when there is an issue, you must understand that one person is going to be a weaker person. So understand the weakness of both of you. And when you find that this is my wife's weakness, don't bring a query about something that you know that it is her weakness or this is my husband's weakness. Don't bring a query for something that you already know that this is your wife's weakness or your husband's weakness. weakness. Both versa. Right? Right. Right. So, um, you just talk about prayer. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about decision. Um, uh, decision no, let me see what we have to talk again. Um, Transparency. Okay. Yeah. So transparency also is another factor. It's another tips that we need to apply in our marriage. Transparency. We have to be transparent to each other. Do not hide something. Do not allow something eating you up without telling your husband. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be open to each other. So, do not keep secret. Do not hide anything from each other. There should be no room for secrecy. There's no secrecy in marriage. See yourself as you were meant for each other and be open. Yes. If you are troubled about your breast, say, honey, I, I'm so troubled. Is there anything wrong with my breast? I'm yes. so troubled. Is there anything wrong with my shape? Just... <laughs> just, your just be so how, how do you see my my shape how do you see yeah how about my hair how about my hair you you know you <laughs> so don't go out there and do some kind of crazy hair with some kind of crazy colors and then you wanted to surprise your husband no marriage is not about surprise and there's no perfection that is true they don't think that you must surprise your husband with something and then he is going to happy about it but you know Something your husband or your, or your wife may not like to, to hurt your feelings. But that is not honest in marriage. You're supposed to tell your wife the truth. Tell her that, please. Um, your hair looks beautiful, but I don't like it because there's so many colors in it. That is honesty. And then a good wife also, a good husband, do not need to be mad, be angry because you try to correct <laughs> him. <laughs> Do you know how much I, I, I spend? Do you know how much I spend on this hair? I know. So why are you telling me that you don't like it? I know. I know. Mm. So um, you don't have to be mad that somebody, especially your spouse, if your spouse corrects you, it means he did not like or she did not like something that you're doing. And you guys have to find a common ground yes. and settle the issue. Oh, yes. And the Bible says that open rebuke. Is better than sacred love, right? If you, if it's better to correct somebody, tell the person the truth, right? Yes, it's very important in your relationship. Awesome. So when God created you, God knew that you were going to get married to this guy, and you were, or to this, to this lady, to this handsome man. So see yourself as you guys were meant for each other. Mm, blessed for okay. each other. Mm -hmm. And. Try to be open to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's so many ways that we we can be open to each other. I mean, we can we can share our our sexual feelings, romantic feelings, emotional feelings, mm -hmm. and all those mental, physical and even our financial feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you don't know? So Share this thing with your spouse. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into the deep about those romantic, um, emotional, and that, that those kind of kinds of feelings. But share it with your spouse and show it. To, do not hide. Do not hide things. Oh to your yes. Spouse as husband oh, and wife. Oh yes. Be open to each other. Oh yes. This is something that we learn. We read so many marital books, and we try to apply the good things. That we learn into our marriage and we believe that it's working it's been working right from day one now we are 10 years old 
in marriage to good. the glory of God. Good. Amen. So when you when you um are open to your spouse, it promotes unity. Yeah. It strengthens that relationship. Uh, yeah. It promotes oneness. Oh yes. And your husband or your wife still loves in you. Yes. Still love. And my wife loves me so much. Uh, man. My husband loves me so much. Yes. I love my husband. I yes. love my wife. Yes. Right. So that's so important. Yes. Yes. So um what else can we talk on? We'll talk about decision making in marriage. Right. Decision making is one of the key factors to make a marriage work. How you guys work as a team. Because between two couples, there is no competition. For relationship right. to succeed is teamwork. Iron sharpened iron. You know, this one build each other up. Like in the vacation on supporting family members or friends, you need to sit and chat. Husband and wife talk. How are we gonna do this? Eh, honey? Right. So decision making is one thing that can easily um, cause you guys to break apart. So if one person just decide to go to the account and just use it without the consent of some of the other person, it can cause problem. Oh, yes. If somebody is so um, overusing finances and the other person is, is not happy about it, it can bring in problem and issue in your marriage. Mm -hmm. So decision making count a lot. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways to make decisions, but it shouldn't come from one person. The two of you must agree. Must agree. At one point in time, either you are going to agree yes. when to have a child. Yes. Either the two of you are going to agree when yes. to buy a home. Yes. The two of you are going to agree how to manage um, household um, um, consumptions. Oh, yes. Both of you oh, yes. will agree on, on so many things. On medical decisions. On school. medical decisions. School, school for the kids. That they, where to go to school, you know. When to take vacation. When to take vacation. All those things counts. How, and how to make donations to family and friends. So we know that um, most of us who um, came from Africa, we have families back home. We have friends and too. We also have friends, and so so many times we send, we keep sending money. Yes. So if you are a spouse, it could be the man, it could be the the lady. Yes. And you keep taking money from your account and just keep sending. Your husband might not be happy with that. Or your wife might not be happy with that. Or your wife might not be happy with that. Or if you guys have a joint account and then one person is just just using the money without the decision of the other person. Yes. That's going to create some problems in your marriage. Yes. It's going to cause problems in your marriage. Conflict, yes. It's going to bring conflict in between the two of you. Yes. So decision making matters. It, it plays a very huge role in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, a good way to overcome problems with decision making is talk to your spouse. Communicate. Mm -hmm. If you want to send money to your family, talk with your spouse. That I have a family member who is um, asking me this amount of money. Or if you want to so send money to a friend, be it male or female, you need to talk to your wife or generally your if you want to use money you yes. have to talk yes. with your spouse yes. and if you want to buy a dress especially when you guys have a joint account if you want to buy something don't just use your own personal or individual decision or because you are making more money than the other person no speak to one another you guys must come to agreement and that makes your marriage successful. Very successful. Right. Right. Very, very important. Very, very, very important. So we're also going to talk on um, transparency. Yeah. Transparency is another thing that um, can cause problems into your relationship. If you lack transparency, 
Transparency is so important in a marital relationship. Mm-hmm. So transparency is just like communication. We have to be transparent to each other. Mm-hmm. Open up to each other. So do not hide anything from each other. Okay? Don't hide anything from each other. Transparency. It's like communication. So there should be mutual understanding in your communication and transparency. It promotes love. Mm-hmm. Share your story with your husband. There are good stories and there are bad stories. And discuss the outcome of your goal. Mm-hmm. And make a plan. Oh yeah, make a plan. If you if you're planning to go for a vacation, oh yes, share it with your husband ahead of time. Oh yes, be open to your spouse. Oh yes. So that brings some dignity in not just you, but in your in your relationship. Oh yes. So um, this is so important. Very important. Very important, and we should understand this very strongly. Very strongly. So I just brought this again because we can we can misunderstand that relationship between communication and transparency. They are almost like the same thing, but the two the two are, are different. But they play a very huge role in our marital relationship. Yeah. Right. Right. So. How do you feel if I hide something from you and then you discover that later? I'll be so mad. So the reason why <laughs> the reason why people are, are not transparent is because either they have a extramarital affair mm-hmm. and they are not happy about it, or there's something that is going inside them and is eating them up and they are not open about it. Mm-hmm. I remember one man was so addiction to pornography even though the person is married but the person yet still love pornography and when the wife is not around that's when the guy goes behind and is watching pornography watch it and he's so addicted to it you have a husband you have a wife and you still love pornography that is an issue too so you are not transparent in order for you to come out of that poison you have to share it with your spouse said i have a problem man i i don't know how to come out from it i'm struggling with this open up and tell your your each other i'm struggling with this help me that's something that can destroy yes. marital relationship yes because pornography is something that you can have this kind of unusual desire that can eat you up mm-hmm. and can eat up that love that you have for your wife or for eat, your husband eat it up in any form and it can destroy you it can destroy your emotion your affection for one another it can another. make you to become important yes it, it can affect the attention for each other so this one just came up i just said uh, let me just mention it because um it's also dangerous mm-hmm. dangerous but the only way you can come out of something that is eating you up is by sharing Yes. Okay. Sharing ideas, share stories. Yes. Talk to your spouse. Yes. And sharing and is find caring. Find a solution. Yes. Sharing is caring. Yeah. When, if when, you care so much uh, for your wife, you have to share your story yes. with your wife. Sharing is share caring. Share your, your issues. Share it. Good. Oh yeah. Really sharing important. is caring. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's a tip that you have to apply in your life. We're not going to say everything today, but we're going to talk about one more, which is romance so many relationships are dying today mm-hmm. because the couples lack that romantic application in their marriage mm-hmm. some of you are so traditional in your marital relationship that you're not giving you're not trying to promote that affection of love to to your partner yes right yes yeah so right honey <laughs> so, some are just so traditional to the extent that to to dress sexy at home is like is like sin. No, this is your wife. This is your husband. You guys have left your parents, and now you guys are living together. 
Yeah, you got to be sexy. Be romantic be and romantic. sexy to your partner. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I know. Hmm. Don't complain that my husband is 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 keeping a, an extramarital affair. That my wife is keeping an extramarital affair because you are not romantic to your partner. Yeah, do your Be best. Romantic. Do your best in that area. Just put on some um sexy underwears and some transparent nighty. Oh yes, oh yes. Touch your wife, touch your husband in places that is going, is going, it's going to make her laugh. Yes, it's going to arouse him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> With another thing that kills romantic relationship is that either the man, let me say the husband or the wife, is working a lot and do not have time for the for the other. Yeah. You can't you come back from work, you are so tired and you just you don't even have the energy. Yeah. Well you don't have that romantic desire for your for your for your partner. That is going to destroy your marriage. Mm -hmm. Because because romance is so important in your marital relationship. Yeah. I I remember uh well sometimes I know about relationship that um, mostly women they even sleep one, one lady one lady like to sleep naked. So um, you know, I used to have issue with my husband. Then I realized that I was not romantic enough. So I started maybe um, just put my up night here and then I sleep naked. And the man will be like, "Honey, you don't have to do that." But before before the break of the morning, the man is on top. So. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> find a way yes find a way to promote that romantic feeling from one another yes in in the beginning the man will complain that before you know he's already falling for you like crazy right. like crazy honey <laughs> believe me so le let me read from first peter chapter 3 verse 7 it says husband in the same way we um in the same way be considerate as you live with your wives mm -hmm. and treat them with respect as the weaker partner and as heirs with you of the of the gracious gift of life so that nothing will hinder your prayers now there's so many things that can hinder our prayer we can pray but if your relationship is not going well it can hinder your prayer mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. if your wife is not happy it can hinder your prayer and if your husband is not if happy, your husband is not happy it can hinder, hinder your, your prayer <laughs> right 50 50. good you, yeah you are really advocating for yourself <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so, so um advocate for yourself advocate for for your for your spouse and uh, make life sweet okay life is beautiful so um if something is not going right the devil looks for a way to to come in oh yes right right if you do not know how to share your stories predators will come in oh yes if you are not very romantic to your wife and you do not have a good communication with your wife and then you and then if you are not transparent Predators will come in. Oh yes. And one of the biggest predator is extramarital affair. Oh yes. So it's dangerous. Yes. Can we talk about one last thing, like sex? Oh, sex. Mm. Oh, sex. Sex is important, right? Sex is juicy. That's the biggest one. Let mm. me let, let me tell you. If you think that you are a Christian and then you are so traditional when it comes to sex, you're going to destroy your relationship. Oh, yes. Sex is a gift from God. Sex is a gift from God. It's a free gift from God. It's an enjoyable gift from God. From God. That's oh. why we don't want to mess with it, with it. Oh, you have to rock and roll it. Mm. Sex is amazing. It's so sweet. Mm. Right. <laughs> so understand why sex is amazing. It's important also. Yes. So if you do not see the importance 
of sex between you and your partner, you are still going to, to bring in predators in between that relationship. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. So, how to manage sex is another thing. Yes. By communication, you need to communicate your feelings. You need to communicate your mood. Eh, honey? Good, good. You need to tell your man or your woman, Hey, honey, can we go into action? Yeah. Well, do not be scared when you want to oh, ask for, for sex. Oh, yeah, it's your right. And although sometimes it just... It just comes spontaneously. Sometimes it can happen like in the kitchen, in the oh, living room. Oh, in the bathroom. In the bedroom or in the bathroom. Or in the living room. But also, we are trying to say that it is important to manage your sex life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, 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 it's good to say, um, if you are not in the mood and then you know that you have a husband or a wife who is so pathetic in having sex, so if you are not in mood share your story with your husband share it with your wife yes express your feeling tell her that honey um i'm not feeling okay yes today so can we have this early in the morning or this and that yes. and the other person is supposed to understand you and believe you yes because this is just temporary yes so but some people hardly believe their wife or their husband and because of that, they can now bring bring in predators. They start looking for ways to go out. Yeah. That is dangerous. Very dangerous. That is dangerous. There are ways to manage your sex life. Yes. And the only way to manage your sex life is to communicate with your spouse. Yes. To share the idea with your spouse. And, be romantic. And expressing your feeling. Right. And how you feel. Right. And be thankful. For the opportunity to right. have sex with each other Good. it's a great privilege to enjoy that intimacy right but if you start looking your wife as if she is not pretty she's not beautiful she is not or your husband so i'm not just saying that wife or your husband and um you are not satisfied with him or her you are creating room for predators Mm -hmm. But love, prayer, humility, humbleness, patience, those things are values that can can change the whole paradigm of your reasoning. Oh yes, it can change. Right. And, and a good food, cooking good food, it will change everything around. Yeah. Because when you feed a man, he, he can able to tell you his mind. Right, so there are so many tips that can help promote your, your marriage. So these are just some that we believe that um, is good to apply in your marital relationship yes. to help you cope with this relationship. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Don't mess up with your marriage. Oh, yes. You can do it. Don't give up with your marriage. Don't give up. Don't be so dissatisfied with your, with your spouse. It's not yet over. Okay. Yes. Be romantic if your husband or your wife is not is 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 not bold enough to to do it. You can go forward. You can teach. You can take. You can fill the gap. You can teach. And you can even teach. Yeah, you can support each other because in yeah. marriage is teamwork, not competition. Marriage is teamwork. Not competition. It's not one person. Oh yes. When it comes to decision making, it comes to sex. Oh yes. It comes to communication. Ro romance romance sex and transparency yes all Prayers, those things decision making has to be decided by both of you oh yes not one person mm -hmm. don't just see your wife as if you can just pick her every moment that you want and just have like sex with her and then it, and why she's not um um she's not in that mood exactly and even if she's not in that mood you think that maybe she hates you no no so reason together reason together right right so we um we really want to thank you for watching our video today okay and we want to encourage you to watch our next video um and if you have a comment and there's something you want to say about our conversation for today please yes leave us a comment oh yes you can also like us or follow us oh yes or share our videos. Oh yes. 
and thank I, you so much. Do you have something to add? Yes, and give us your thought. What you think is your own tips for successful marriage? So thank you so much. We're going to come up with another video, and um, we believe that you're going to be blessed. Oh yes. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Mwah.